Divine Connections Magazine. Get major exposure for your business. Is someone looking for your service? Do you need networking? Are you a gospel artist or a ministry? Do you have a major event that you want to promote? Divine Connections Magazine has the solution for you. We can distribute to residents, businesses, churches, and online. Don't miss this opportunity to expand your marketing locally and around the world. Find out more about us at DivineConnectionsMagazine.com. Get your spot in the next issue of Divine Connections Magazine by emailing us for details at DivineConnectionsMagazine at gmail.com. Make sure to like us on Facebook at Divine Connections Marketing. Follow us on Instagram at Divine Connections. Let's get it started now. Great day, great day, everyone. This is Dolores Williams, and we are with Divine Connections. We are having an awesome, awesome day. Divine Connection is a magazine that comes out on a quarterly basis where we promote different entrepreneurs, gospel artists, events, authors, and so much more. There's so many positive things going on in the community, and we use this platform to share all of the good things that's going on. If you haven't done so already, make sure you check out Divine Connections Magazine. That is comes out quarterly. And also, this is the back of it, Mr. Charles Woolridge. And today we have our awesome, awesome guest, Mr. Colin, how are you? I am doing wonderful and thank you for having me today. Wonderful. So tell the audience a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, I'm a native of California and got to Texas as soon as I could. So I've been here for a minute. Uh, for yes. about four decades here, I've been pursuing entrepreneurship and uh, touching a lot of music. But um, within the last uh, 15 years or so, I've uh, uh, organized a corporation that is a commercial development company. And we are looking at some things that uh, will uh, change uh, the trajectory of our communities here with uh, mixed use projects which basically involve retail, hospitality, um, residential, commercial space, as well as um, some entertainment pavilions. Uh, entertainment, however, has been the thing that I've been most recognized for right. and, uh, at, to recently, but that's gonna change hopefully within the next year or so. So, but um, okay. embarking upon a new CD, a double CD that's, uh, that focuses on uh, two relationships actually, uh, the, the, uh, the vertical relationship between God and man, and mm -hmm. uh, then the horizontal relationship between uh, man and his children or the loves of his life. And so that's a CD that's called The Confessions of a Man. And I'm really excited about that because yeah. that's gospel, as, as I said, that's the vertical. The horizontal is, of course, love and R&B. And I get a chance to pay tribute to some of the greats like, uh, you know, um, uh, Nat King Cole and Frank Sinatra, mm. Stevie Wonder and Luther Vandross. So I'm really excited about all those things. I'm, amongst being a father and, uh, and newly espoused, I'm just grateful to be alive in this COVID environment. Amen yes, to that. Yes, So if somebody was interested in getting your music or getting in contact with you, can you share your information? Yes, you can look me up on social media. The easiest way to find out who I am, my name is spelled Kylan. That's at the bottom of your screen there, K-I-L-A-N-D. Yes. I'm extremely Googleable, if that's okay. <laughs> so you can Google <laughs> me and that will lead you to most of what I do. Um, and inclusive of my videos, inclusive of my, my companies. I have a restaurant that that was downtown in Houston that we're looking at expanding the restaurant to um, not, not only an American cuisine, but also expanding that into a, a sports bar. Uh, and then music wise, you can just Google Kylan and uh, go to your YouTube channel or Kylan Live and you can find me there. Um, Kylan Entertainment is also my handle for my Instagram. Yeah. And then, of course, Kylan Lee is my full is my name for social media. So basically, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, can find me. <laughs> and we're able to help you and whatever. I'm so excited about Divine Connection. I yes. have been thinking about to our last interview, and I just want to encourage those of you that are uh, that are out there that are that are waiting on such that 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 name. Um, when you get a certain age, you know uh, things mm. start meaning uh, uh, more significant to you. You pay more attention right. to the detail. And divine connection, uh, the name in and of itself is is probably what what many of us in this uh, racial uh, uh, issues that we're having in our country, and of course the pandemic, 
you know, most of us need a divine connection. We need a connection to that yeah. that is divine, the connection that that bypasses this the, the the natural, bypasses emotion, bypasses your current income, bypasses everything. And so I just want to agree with those of you that are out there watching this today that God would begin to order your steps into that, to those individuals that were purposely designed to bless you, yeah. purposely designed to strengthen you. And that God would, would begin to break connections that are not divine. Cause sometimes you can have, sometimes the hindrance to your connection is the connections you have. So we, we just, I'm just believing God. I don't know why I felt that, but I just really want to right. want to express to those of you all today that God is still on the throne. He is, he's in control of COVID. He's in control of the government. He's in control of everything. And if you, and, and, you know, if you'll wait on him and acknowledge in all your ways, he will direct your paths. And I'm excited to have some things that can help those as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's great, great, great information. So um, let's encourage our black men. Can you speak to our black men and give some encouragement to them? Yeah, you know, being uh, being a man is hard. Um, and that is uh, because we're taught and society expects so many things of us as men. Um, and we are bombarded with uh, hiding our emotions that uh, sometimes um, makes us makes one feel weak if we are emotional if we are emotional. and and then, uh, then we are measured by our, our ability to provide, our ability to perform, or whatever the keeping up with the Jones is, whatever that stuff is. Right. Um, and then you tack on that, then the actual, uh, the actual um, difficulties that come with being an African-American male. Because the being a man is hard enough, but then when you have to tack on the fact that we are judged before we even get a chance to, to even display our character or the content therein. Um, it is very daunting to experience what it's like to be a black male. So to my black men today, there's so many things I can say. The number one I can, I can ask you to do is I can ask you to look up the word husband. The word husband oh. means, um, it means uh, to be uh, the husband, to be the husband of someone is to be their provider, their, their caretaker, the source that they, they look to. And so uh, I, I challenge you that the scriptures say that, that God is the head of, of the family, the head of the man, which means, and, and of course, the husband is the head of the family. But right. I want every male out there to look toward God as your provider, as your, as your source. He is your husband. He is, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the truest sense of the, of, the, of the description, he is the one that takes care of you, that provides yeah. you. I think we as men, sometimes we don't have a safe place to go. And I hear so many men saying, because we don't know how to communicate, we don't know how to communicate that we're hurting. And sometimes the only thing that we communicate well is anger. And so, uh. and so what happens is that we, 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 we've come fluent in, in losing it, but not fluing it and pulling it together. And some of that uh. is because we've never had models. We've never had a man to show you that it's okay to to feel, it's okay to have emotions, but it's not okay to live in them. It's not okay to respond to them only. But in most cases, if you would just look toward God, who is your father, yeah. and begin to and begin to, to 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 pray and to communicate with Him, you'd be surprised how the relationship with the divine connection <laughs> yeah. will actually enable you to For make sure. connections that are divine when you look down. So get in touch with God. Find out who He is, and it's simple as saying, God. Tell me who I am. Tell me who I am. Mm. And that's what we're missing. And so that affects everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that yeah. summed it up right there. That is yeah, awesome. you know, it, 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 it summed it up. And, and, and if I may say, uh, use one more analogy. When you're getting on an airplane, guys, when you're getting on an airplane, the stewardess always tell you if you're traveling with a child or someone that is that is not as capable as you are to secure if we should lose cabin pressure make sure that you secure yourself first right. and then apply it to the one that needs you. The reason why they say that is because a dying or dead person cannot assist a dying or dead person. So you mm. have to make sure that you are strong. Right. You have to make sure that you are breathing so that you can cause the child not to panic, the child not to respond, the elderly person to understand we're gonna be okay. How can you comfort them if you're gasping for air? So what? Yeah. So so the metaphor is is take care of you first. Find right. out what you need first, and then from that place, from the place of wholeness, can you actually administer healing and wholeness to someone else? And that's what men need. We don't we we so busy trying to be big and bad. We ain't even <laughs> healthy and strong. Come on now. <laughs> so 
to God be the glory for that. I hope that helps you or someone else. Absolutely. Um, and so do you want to end with some last words? You on the road. Last words <laughs> is God. Did, yeah. Uh, sorry, one more, one more time. Yeah. Okay. Well, last words for me. Uh, I want to make sure I didn't miss out anything for that question. Last words. God is an author and the finisher of our faith. He says that all things work together for the good. He did not say that all things are good. Mm. Sometimes we get caught up in the reality of feeling that if it's bad, how can it be good for me? But if you look back over your life, there were some bad situations, some jobs you lost that caused you perhaps to quit or find another job or even go into business. Some relationships, the people that walked out on your life found you to find, caused you to be single, hurt enough and open to finding the real person. Some, you know, so, so what you have to understand is that all things work together for the good. Yeah. It's like a cake when you make one. You can get some flour, some butter, and some sugar. Yeah. Outside of the sugar and, and, and maybe a soda pop, like for a 7-Up cake, nobody mm -hmm. takes the flour and the butter individually and says, give me some of that. But if you put them in a bowl and mix them together, put them in some heat, all of a sudden it becomes a piece of cake that everybody wants. So that's what you're going through today. That hardship that you're facing, it's butter. That, that, that divorce you're going through, that sickness, it's flour. Mm. It's not good. That divorce is not good. Losing a loved one is not good. Those things right. hurt you at the core. But God can take those things that were meant for evil and put them in a bowl, stir them with a little mercy, stir them with a little grace, a little patience, a little temperance, and yes, a little character, and then put them yeah. in the oven. And next thing you know, you are presented with a life that many people will idolize you for because they'll wonder, how did you make it after all of that? Tell them you just use the ingredients. And it worked out for you good. Awesome, awesome. And this is Mr. Kylan. So excited to have you on today sharing great information. Make sure you thank stay connected. You're welcome. Make sure you stay connected with Mr. Kylan. And thank you so much for sharing your information and your insight and your wisdom and knowledge. Well, thank you once again. Look me up at kylans.live or, or Instagram me at Kylan Entertainment. You can DM me. We are available for your uh, corporate events. We have an entire um, entertainment company. We do live performances for DJ. We include DJs, weddings, bar mitzvahs, baby showers, divorce parties, whatever you need. We got gotcha. you. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. Keep us in prayer. We're looking to open up some new branches of, of, of the commercial development to create you know, over 25,000 jobs in the next two years. So we're, right. we, we are excited about that. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you guys make sure you stay connected. He has resources and jobs and all kinds of things and resources that you can connect with. So thank you, yes, Mr. Collins, for coming on today. And thank you. And thank you for having us, Dolores. And thank you for making this a divine connection. I believe somebody's going to get something out of this. I certainly am. Amen. All right. Amen. God bless you. All. God bless. <laughs> thank you, y'all. This is Dolores Williams with Divine Connection. And this is my special guest, Mr. Kyler. Make sure you stay connected to the number one connection, which is Jesus Christ, our divine connection. Have a great day. It. God bless. <laughs> God bless. Thank, thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Thank you for tuning in to Divine Connections with Dolores Williams. If you enjoyed this interview, then head on over to our website for more topics like this and to hear more about Divine Connections at www.divineconnectionsmagazine.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook at Divine Connections Marketing. Follow us on Instagram at Divine Connections and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Divine Connections. Stay connected where great people are making great things happen.